people know. Um, but if anybody's in that situation, guys, um, we don't mind, all right? Just ask. You only say no, can't we? All right? But you know we're not going to do that. So it's to help people out, all right? There's enough going on in, in everybody's lives right now. Right. We've got the uh, got our beams ready. Let's get that. Let's get mute that down. It's nice outside. I've had my vitamin D for the day. I might have to overdose. Let's dull that down a little bit. All right, fantastic. We'll get it warm going. It's slow, pure beam lattes, all right? Okay, good. Like it. Oh, I've got to come back and just might sit all this, see? Is he wasting time with us? Yeah, it's so he can have another slurp of tea. There we go. All right, that's done. Good stuff, guys. Everything's slowly opening. So we've got the feet either side of the beam or the tapering tapers there. We're all beamers. I think we're all beamers today, aren't we? Yeah, I think we are looking good, guys. All beamers, fantastic. In steps alongside the beam and slowly just rocking those feet. Remember, it's not a beam fit where we can go a bit faster. We more focused. On beam fit, we're really focused and constant. We know that. That's the idea of having the beam. So when I say we're doing beam lattes and we're focusing even more, it doesn't, it, does it ring true? Are we working it more? I think we are. Focus and concentrate with effort, slow time. Because when you're fast on the beam, you know if you get a bit of wobble, quickly move that foot. Nobody can tell. Hopefully you can't see me when I do it so much. Rocking the hips to the forward, butt out to the rear. I knew there'd be a button somewhere I'd stop having pressed it. Just done that, fantastic. I'm bringing my hips a bit further forwards and a bit further to the rear. Good. So I know some of you know Sydney back late. I was up there this morning and somebody was trying to do a yoga class because it's a nice sunny time. <laughs> it was freezing. I could see the hair standing up in their arms as I went past. Okay, good. But they're enjoying themselves. Hips forward, butt out to the rear. Gently forwards. I'm taking it a bit further now. Because generally speaking, and being last, we'll do a few more of different repetitions. We like getting in focus, and it's getting that brain cell in my case, the brain cells in your case, all nicely focused, but not so much that we have steam coming out the ears. I'm now going to roll those feet forwards and focus on being at the bottom of a cradle or rocking chair, rolling it forward, heels coming off so nice and naturally, and getting further up on the toes. Imaginary string coming up, the chest like a bows of a ship coming out the ocean, isn't it? Rocking forwards. Getting a bit higher. Don't let the feet pu push away from the side of that beam. Keep it nice and straight, equal body weight distribution. Good. Back of the hands facing me. Shoulder height to the front and push them out to the and keep it nice and relaxed. It's going to click Sally in. Good. I'll get in time with the three. There. Hands the front, shoulder. Got your Sally. All you've missed is we did a little bit of rocking with our soles of our feet onto our heels. That's all, just going to the arms. Good stuff, guys. Slowly but surely up towards the ceiling. We like this one, don't we? We feel like we started now. Relax the elbows. Good. And take the hands to the rear first. So you can feel the chest getting a nice stretch up in the pecs. Up in top of the pecs there, guys. Going backwards. Put imaginary building bricks in your hands if you want to as it goes back. Good. And now slowly start straightening those elbows up. Get the arms straight, palms facing me, and try and touch the ceiling. There. Just accelerating, touching the ceiling. In fact, we move it on sometimes. If you haven't finished accelerating, you finish off that move, catch up the next one. No problem there at all. I'm coming up on the toes, coming back down to shoulder height, and push the hands to the rear, and relaxing those hips. Coming up on the heels. Can I get the toes high off the ground? Rolling back on those heels. Good. And now we're going to bring the hands nice and steady, two for the price of one, just dip it down, guys, nice and gently. Because we roll the feet forward, you're never going to do any damage at all to the knee joint because it's staying nice, not going past the 45 degrees. And just that split second, pause, pause, back, pause, back, there, back, three, and two, and one, and relax down, and a nice gentle shake out. Good. We're liking, oh, excuse me, too much tea. So too much progress brew. Hold the thumb, slowly shoulder circles. Going back, there's one, there's two, there's three. Back the other way. One, and two, and three. Take the hands up and out. Pause and hold. Turn the hands up, breathe in. 
Exhale down to the heart. Keep the thumbs out. While they're there, there was a move I was going to do today because we did it yesterday in the yoga star class with no beams. I was going to, be, because everybody's got a beam today, I may well bring it back in. Let's see how we get on. Squish those hands back out. Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down, keep the elbows high. Let's do a three second isometric pushing. Go, two, three. Hook the hands over, pull apart. Go, two, three, and bring those hands down. Let's go through a full posture check, guys. We do this every few weeks, hands on for ages. Lock the knees out, now make them soft. 30% abs. Pull the abs in all the way 100%. Then bring them down to that 30. Or push them all the way out, then bring the 30. Pelvic floor, squeeze. Bring that lift shaft up all the way. All the way, really squeeze that pelvic floor tight. Now relax it down and bring it 30%. There is an abs pelvic floor. Bring those fingers together, top of the chest, just to there, above the sternum. When we breathe in, lateral thoracic breathing, the fingers should separate. Breathing in. And exhale back out. One more of those. So I'm, I don't know, look, how much I get there. About an inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Exhale back down again. Good. Like it. Chin up about 45 degrees. Arc those hands nicely down. Wiggle the fingers out. Then bring the pointy fingers out. Concrete trousers on. Here we go. Left one, watching that fingernail and taking it around nice and slowly, gently. Oh, I've gone way past and bringing it back. Good. And this side. Will I get the same this side? Yep, I just got a bit of tightness there. It's in the shoulder, bringing it back. And round we go again. And if I get a bit further, great. If I don't, I'll try the next time. But if we don't ever, it doesn't matter. You're still getting the spine mobilized. And what it's doing is giving you an indication of where you've got tightness in your body and do you need to revisit and stretch that area out. Round I go. And back. And if any of you ever get to that stage, that's where you should be texting me and saying, so when I did it to the left, I got about four or five inches and I, I couldn't get any further. Can you send me a can of oil or something? And that's where we get back to you. Okay, hands to the side, guys. Lean over any side you want, left or right. Gently hold it. And this is why I like, the thing about these classes is we get more, more with you. It's more work and it's not just a class. We know this club is a lot more than just a fitness class. I found it frustrating and Diane knows this because she knew we were us teaching gyms. Bring it back up and all the other way. You get people, get your confidence, want to ask you questions, but you can't do anything with them because the time's in, you're out, and the next class is in and everybody disappears. More personal, that's what we want. Bring it back up right, guys. Let's get those hands up and out. Let's get some free air in. Here we go, breathe in. We've got a classic coming up. Exhale down to the heart, keeping the elbows nice and low, thumbs on that sternum. Let's get that focus in. We're gonna slowly work up three steps, half swan to a full swan. It's one of my favorite moves on the beam in beam lattes or beam fit. It encompasses so much, guys. Onto the beam, dropping over the left heel, and bring it. In fact, we're all beamers. Let's drop that back heel over the back of the beam, so just the ball of the foot only on the beam, and gently push down and get a nice stretch in that in that calf muscle. Feel that? Don't bounce if you get a bit wobbly. Just gently push it down. Hold it there, nice, relaxed breathing. Nicola's going to get told off now. Okay. So we're just gently pushing it down and hold. Now bring it back up. Come up on the toes, let the knee bend forward slightly. That's it. Good. All these guys have told me to tell you off, Nicola. They've been waiting for you to get in the room. They're not very happy with you. You're getting some, some bad emails later on. <laughs> you just missed a warm up. That's all you missed. At the minute, we've got our foot over the back of the beam. <laughs> Don't do your Popeye image to me. Drop that heel back down over the back of the beam, guys. Ball the foot only. Keep the balance. Now feel how that's actually hard work, getting a big stretch. But we've got to get a lot of focus and keeping the balance on the beam. Good. Back up on the toe and a switch back. Swap those feet over. Good. Ball the foot on the back of the beam. It's my right one. And I'm lowering down the heel. 
What am I taking it to on the scores? About 15. Now, people might say, oh, I did that on my stairs at home. I've seen that many people with calf injuries because they bounce on the stairs at home and they're not in full control, guys. This is control because you are beamers. Gently over, feel the core engage. It's a big exercise at the same time. Good. Raise up on the toe. Got lateral thoracic breathing going on. Now drop the heel back over the back of the beam again. And those of you who've all got the beams at home, guys, this is a great stretch. What, you know, oh, what can, what, what's bought, what, I can, yeah, watch the telly. Let's stretch my calf muscles out. Get on the beam and just gently do it. And you engage all that core at the same time. Three, two, one. Step off the beam, guys. Give it a nice shake out. Good. And that drop in the heel gets your plantar fascia done. It gets your Achilles and the muscles right up to just above the back of the kneecap. Okay, here we go with the classic that I promised you. Heels come forward, six centimeters or two inches. With the timing, no hangovers if we can. Off we go. Step, 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 and back. Roll the foot. Focus. Let's get perfection, guys. And off we go again. And only one person was ever perfect in life, and some Romans went and nailed him to a cross. Going backwards, one and two. And then we can aim for it. Here we go. Heel toe, last one to the front. Got a little robot on, working nice and slowly. I'm fully focused on rolling that foot and getting equal body weight pressure right throughout. Look good, feel good time. Hands up and out. Turn them up, breathe in. Exhale to the heart, swishing the hands out, and it's a rotation for two. Turn the hands up again. Exhale, down we go. Squish the hands out, back round to me. Keeping the hands there. It's our half swan to the front. We're doing this one twice. Off we go. Step, 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 and dip. Nice arcs. Fantastic. That looked excellent. Well done, guys. And stepping back one, and two, and three. It's a rotation. Round we go. Turn the hands up and breathe. You know those days you get on the beam, and the beam feels about five foot wide, Mine feels about three inches wide at the minute. Okay, really having to focus. One and two and three. That's better. Down we go. Nicely back up. Thinking good curves. We like curves. One. My camera could do the adjusting. I'm hoping I'll be okay there. Done. Rotate round. Turn those hands up. Breathe in. And to exhale down, squish the hands out. Bring it back around to me. We've just started. Let's bring those hands down, shake them out, hold the thumb and rotate the shoulders backwards, then forwards. A little bit of a de-stress thing. Take the hands back up and out. It's relaxed arms, guys. It's above the head to here. Three-step model walk, lead with the hip, full swan, three of these. Off we go. One, two, three. And that's an arc down. Good. And back. Fantastic. And back. Now I'm going to keep the elbows and the stretch of the hands really relaxed, but not working at 15. Let's say at 10, 12, rotate round, turn the hands up, breathe. It's so not reaching for the ceiling, but getting long arcs, if you know what I mean. So I can feel that I'm working, not just here for the fun of it. Turn the hands up, although we like having fun. Off we go. The second one for one and two. Good straight lines. Well done. Down we go. Whites of the eyes. Fantastic. And back up. Synchronized. You look like a video recording. That could be following a class two and three. It's palms. And round we go. One more of these. The next one's going to show you the show off one. Exhale down to the heart. Squish it out and back round. Have you noticed those of you who do beam lattice regular? We couldn't do beam fit. You're so much quicker, faster, and getting good execution of the exercises in the class. Arcing it all the way down. Good stuff. And nice and tall. Fantastic. And back at the beam for three and two and one. It's palms. It's rotate round. Turn the hands up. Breathe in. Exhale to the heart. Squishing the hands out. Breathe back round to me. I'll come down, guys. Step away. Give it a nice shake. Get, get a quick sip of water if you need one. What I'm getting texts from, certain, from, from some of you about now is, so you start to meet different people now that haven't met for a long time, whether it's shops or whatever. And those people are seeing what we've been talking about all this time, how you are looking right now, coming out of everything else, and there's a big difference between us and those who have sat on their proverbials and done nothing. A massive difference, guys. I'm not just talking about pale, horrible white skin either. Okay, drop it back. Sweaty and clammy and 
grey and not looking healthy at all. Okay, this side, it's just the same. Three steps, off we go. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, and going back for one, and two, and three. Good, and coming forwards, heel toe, and there, and good. One more of these. Good, roll it back, roll it back, roll it back. Recently on the beam, we've got the beam out and done hardly any walking. And there. And going backwards, three, and two, and pause, and look good, feel good. Confidence, turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, squish it out, rotate. And I don't mean feel good, look good. I mean feel fantastic and look fantastic. Inhale, exhale down, squish the hands out, roll, take back around to me. It's a half swan, two of these, off we go. Heel toe, there, done, and down we go there. You're all at the stage, guys, when they do being fit classes, when I don't have to look at people's feet, I can tell by the looks on their face if their little toe gets a hangover on the beam, rotate round. Good, turn the hands up and breathe. You feel it straight away, exhale, squish, back round to me, and off we go. The days of you walking along like it was a budgie, clawing his feet into his perch, they're gone. Look how relaxed those feet are. That releases tension through the body, T toes to heel, toe heel, toes to heel there again. Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down, squish those hands out. Let's put a rotation, the spine likes that, the nervous system likes it, breathing in. Loads of breathing exercises. Exhale down, squish them out, back round to me, and turn them up. Here we go, three-step model walk, relaxed. Off, one, two, three, and arc lights to the eyes, fantastic. Good, and back for three, and two, and one, and there. Now my beam feels like it's about five foot wide. Now I'm tuned in with it. Exhale to the heart, squish the hands back around to me. Second one, no surprises, exactly the same as the other side. And we don't do that very often, do we? There's two, and three, and arcing down. And a bit of a lean over there, but no hangovers. Good. Means the core has to work to keep us on the beam and back. There, I can feel a wall of concentration coming through my screen. Rotate round. Turn the hands up. Breathe. Exhale to the heart. Squishing the hands out. Bring it back round to me. Now we can feel those arms and shoulders working, can't we? Last one. Show off and put this one to bed for three and two and a one. And down we come. Good, and nice and high. Relaxing the elbows, we go back. I've got to adjust that camera. And two, and three. It's there. It's a rotation. A breath in. Exhalation. Squish the hands out, back round to me. Arc it down and give those shoulders a shake. Guys, step away. If you think my shoulders can't feel it right now, oh, they can a little bit. Okay, good. Nice big full body. The cracking, opening. Good. We're gonna start. We're gonna do some combinations here, guys. All right. Right foot's the front, left foot is behind. Follow me along on this one, okay? We're gonna come up, back legs coming out, knee high, place down, hands are gonna come out, we're going straight down to one knee. We're gonna come up from one knee, knee high, and place it back into the starting point, all right? It's big and it's powerful, and it's more difficult doing being Pilates. Being fit wouldn't be so much of a problem. This is the bars up there, okay? So, hands start on my stern. Just follow me along, here we go. Hands coming up, knees coming up. I'm stepping forwards on the knee. Good, and we reverse back. Here we go, three, two, and one. Coming up, roll, high knee, and place, and drop the hands down. Now, when you get that knee down, you've got to step forward a bit more. So do lead leg work and slide the toe back before it comes back that position, okay? Good stuff, here we go. Same position with the hands this for this one. Hands to here. So up, high knee, and down. Graceful, well done, fantastic. And off we go, back, three, two, and a one. Up, slide, knee, it's back, and arc it down. Give the hands a shake out. Up we come. Let's get a sequence going now. Here we go. So it's there, hands out all the time, knee high this time. Up, then place, 
hands to the front and back. Good stuff. Back slide, knee comes up so it doesn't stop. We place it back down. Good. Hands up and out, knee high and step and down. Hands to here and back and reverse. Slide, knee up and back. I almost lost it. See that one just got it in in time. And hands up and back out. Two left, up and step. Longer step is easier, well done. And slide and high and back. That's getting better every single time I can feel it. Well done. Hands up and out. Here we go. Knee high and step and reverse. Up we come. Slide, knee and down. Step away, guys. And I felt the upper sh shoulders working. Ah, from the same muscles we did the previous one. That's good. Look at the power, down and back. And it started off a bit, oh, then it was nice and graceful and powerful like what gymnasts do. Okay, good stuff. We swap the feet over. I haven't swapped my feet over. I mean, it could be a lot of pain, wouldn't it, if I did that? Okay, I've done a switch back. So, other foot's to the front. Same this side. So if that was your favorite side, brilliant. If it wasn't, a bit more focus. Hands to the stern and start. Then we'll take them out here. Back foot's coming out and out there. Up and step and down. Feels weird changing over, doesn't it? And reverse. Up we come. Step, knee, and arc it down. Good, like it. Hands back up and out. Up, knee, step, down. Hands here and back. And reverse, up we come, slide, knee, step, and arc down. Fantastic. Wayne's watching this on catch up. He requested this one six months ago, and we didn't do it. It's here now. Up we come, guys, and out. Good stuff. Up we come, knee, step, in line. Excellent, getting better. Reverse, slide, high, step. Arc it down, that relieves the pressure up in the shoulders a little bit. Take the hands back up and out. Off we go, knee high and step and down and reverse. It's a slide, it's up and back. Keeping the hands there this time, off we go. It's up and down and dip and reverse. Two left, slide, position, and back, arc the hands down, shake it out. Good. Hands up, last two for now. Knees high. And a step. And dip, new move, eh? Over a year and we still do new moves. Slide it back there. And it's up. And back, bring the hands down. Last one, show off. Hands up and out. Here we go, there. And down. Those that missed this one, they're going to be totally lost next time they come to this, this session. Off we go, reverse, slide, knee, it's back down and shake it out. And that you can feel up here is full core, full body working out, guys. Looking good, liking it, liking it a lot. On a beam, five foot long, foot coming up, big core strength and down. You, anybody asks you what you do in your beam Pilates class and they don't do it, you want to show off a little bit. Try and get them to do this one on a line. They won't be able to do it, okay? All right, but you will. One step, step, back. Which foot is it, Tug? You didn't tell me. It's got a left foot. Step, back, step, back, step, back. Five dips. One, and back. That's my left knee. Two, and back. And three, and back, and four, and back. And we pause and hold this time there, and hold. Take the hands up and out, turn the palms up, breathe in. This is where Pilates style classes are super strong, arc those hands down, they change your body shape, they are muscular strength and endurance, they're not cardio guys, all right? Jersey boys, same leg, here we go. There, back. 
there and out. So no difference with our posture, no difference with our technique. We should have better technique in a way there. Hand going way up the back. It's five dips to the front. Here we go. And you go to your maximum. There's one and back. And two, same speed down, same speed back again. Look how much more. I think I have got steam coming out my ears now. That's my third. There's fourth. How the hangover's doing. There's the fifth for a pause to the rear and stop. Hands up and out. Turn them up, breathe in again. So we're doing exercise done in the past, doing them totally different. Good. Keeping the hands to the sternum. Imaginary bricks in those hands is going to go up to the old angel wig thing. Okay, here we go. So it's out and back and out and back and out and five. Here we go with down and back and there. One more to do this side after this. That's my third. Getting nice and deep, working it hard. Trying to get my back knee just to kiss that beam. It did that time. Fifth one then for a pause. There's down and hold. Hands up and out, turn them up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Oh, what should we do this side? Let's take the bottom. I'm gonna move my feet a little bit. There we go, that's better. There, hold the thumb. Difficulty is there, guys. One step first, here we go. Step back. Step, notice the heart rate coming up, respiration rate coming up. Full body routine, five dips, here we go. There. And we're tempted to speed it up, but we're not, nobody's doing that. Well done. Two, including myself. I almost got a hang over there. Three, I'll correct that one. That's better. And four, pushing the foam down to the front. Last one, here we go. There's five LBTs and back. Pause, hold. Hands out, turn them up and breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Arc those hands down, shake it out. I'm building up a series of keepers, guys. This is a keeper, it's number three. I'm keeping in a collection, all right? Let's swap those feet over. So I'm gonna use these in a few, let's just say for some reason, I'm driving back, the car breaks down, and I can't get for a class. I can send you a link and say, keeper, da -da -da -da, that's a day session and nothing is ever missed by anybody, okay? And we know we're getting the top quality ones. That's how good you're doing this one. One step this side first, okay? Other foot's coming forward, the right one, step, back, step, and with robot arms, it's gonna be five dips to the front. Here we go, this side, and it's one. That's my right knee. That's cracking out, isn't it? There's two. I'm getting nice and low. I'm feeling stability on the beam, full body weight, balanced out on that front foot. I've lost count, too much talking. I'll call that number four. Here we go, this side, let's be a five. Dipping it down and back. And the hands are up and out. It's a breath in. Here we go. Exhale down to the heart. Squish those hands out. It's foam pillars under the hands. Keep that posture there. Off we go. Be a machine. Back. Step. Back. One more. Step. Now five dips. Push that foam into the floor. Here we go. There. And back. Seems to be now this one. You can be tempted to come up a bit too quick. Remember the speed you did from the previous new move we did? Well done. I'll call this four. Good. This is five. Dip. And back. Good. Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Arc it down. The other thing I love about this class, guys, we're all, it's like being in a room. You're all here. We're all moving at the same time and spread all over the place. Fantastic. Stand easy position, hands behind the back. Good, gonna engage upper chest, shoulders, step in, go, step, back, step. My feet don't feel comfortable, that standing foot's not right. Your left one, so I've just wiggled it about a little bit. That's better, five dips to the front this time, off we go. Now the hips want to swivel on this one, and back. And because we're not using our arms, the body wants to stand up quicker, keep it controlled, same speed all the way. That's three, well done. Fantastic. Four and back. Good. Out we go. There's five and back up and hold. Take the hands up and out. Turn them up, breathe them up. One more to do this side. Exhale to the heart. Drop them down to our pelvic floor. Hold the thumb. It's walking through the hole, guys. 
Okay, hand to control the speed and step. One, and back. Now don't try and do it, so we've got to get those hands back. That's when we slow down, sometimes we forget about our wrong, our range of movement. That's the third one there. Now it's the dips. Here we go, this one gets put to bed. One, oh, well, that feels awkward, doesn't it? Well done. And two, and back. This is brilliant. Three, good, and back. And four, and back. Fifth one, there, and back. It's hands up and out, turn them up breathing. Exhale down to the heart, squish the hands out. Okay, all the way back down to me, guys. We're loving it, step away from the beam, shake it out. Good. All right, I've just, I've screwed up the paper through the fireplace. Onto all fours, guys, left knee onto the beam. Left knee, hands to the front. Not a lot of these, but I want to get these in because it's going to look, if you're a keeper, you're looking fantastic. Left knee on the beam, we're stacked, shoulders above the hands. Right knee is off the beam, looking down to the floor. Imaginary string, side of the right knee, raise it up. I'm there now, maximum, lower down. Raise it up, we're doing three of these. And back down, that feels good, doesn't it? Raise it up, that's the third one. And back down, leg to the rear and hold it there. Hold the leg to the nice and straight. Now raise it up 45 and bring it back straight. That's all, raise it up and back. Feel the glutes engaging, low back working. Three, two left, four, and back, five, and hold. Knees back level, and swap them over. Right knee to the beam, left knee to the side. Let me turn my beam so people can see. I know you don't need to see, because you're all experts. It's just for people, anybody in the future don't know what the hell we do on a beam. Holding it there. Imagine a string, side of that left knee, raise it up. Even 45 degrees, pelvic floor, lower down. One, and up we come. Two. And if anybody ever says to you, a Pilates-based class is not hard work, you know what you can show them. That's a third one back down. Leg to the rear, keep it straight. Good. Now raise up and back straight again. Up and back straight. Goes behind high each time, doesn't it? There's three and back and four, up and back and five, up and back down again. Bring the knees back level. Good. It's laying down time, guys, on the beam. I'm at this angle. Good, how are we doing? Fantastic. I'm going to unmute you, so if anybody comes into your room shouting, shout back at them. Good. All right. So, we're all got a beam. Get the scapulas either side of the bevel. Feet flat on the beam, knees together. Neutral spine, gap in the back. I've checked mine, have a check of yours. We are nice and straight. Take those hands up towards the ceiling. We're going to use the beam to open the chest up, guys. Inhale, exhale, and push the fingers and try and touch the ceiling. It's the first one now that I'm saying to you, let's work this one. Breathe in, exhale, push again. On the next breath in, you're going to come out to crucifix position, palms facing upwards. Here we go, breathing in and open those hands out. Big arcs all the way, all the way out. And you'll feel the chest rise up as the hands touch the floor. Hold that there. Next exhalation, we're going to push the arms out to the side. Try and touch the walls. Breathe in. Push outwards. Oh, that's it. Can't go any further. I've got my maximum. Bringing the hands back to prayer position above us on the inhalation. Breathing in, go. Good. Exhale, take them back down to the floor. All the way down. Touch. Breathe in, raise up. Exhale, lower down. Good stuff. Keep the hands there, raise both feet up into the air. On the exhalation, open the feet out, scissors, inhale. And close the scissors, exhale. Good, inhale. Exhale, keep the feet there. Bring the hands back up above you, know what's coming next. You're on a beam, think good balance. Here we go, inhale, open up, scissors and hands, and back again on the exhale, 45 degrees only. Inhale, 
and back. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Good stuff. Last one. Inhale. Exhale and back. Good. Feet back onto the beam. It's a sitting position, guys. Let's go. Facing one another. If I've timed it right. Yes, good stuff. Spot on. I didn't see anybody legs wiggle over to one side. I didn't see anybody fall off a beam. Well done, good stuff. Calves are halfway down my beam. Think, good sitting posture. I'm just the camera. I'll put my, put my big pointy hat on. Good. As you string there and here, take the hands up and out. Turn the palms up, breathe in. Keep the hands there as you exhale. Good. Now push for the ceiling. Pushing up, pushing up. Good, let's feel the body go thin. Let the waist come in, dairy lead, cheese wedges. Inhale, exhale, palms to here, rotate to your left, round we go. Inhale, exhale, go a bit further. Hold, two, one, bring it back to me, round the other way. Last movement, inhale, exhale, round we go. Back towards me, palms towards me, Let's make some noise because you deserve it and get outside if you can. Three, two, one, stay safe. Go, yes. Brilliant, guys. I hope you're watching it on me. Catch up later on a good time. Well done, guys. Be safe. I enjoyed that. Good. Yes. All more Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Stay safe. Well done getting in the room, Nicola. Only just. <laughs> Only just. <laughs> Good stuff. Bye. Bye, birthday Bye. girl. <laughs>